What's up gamers? Happy Thursday. Today we're going to go over the best way to beat blitzes. The best rope combos. What you should have when you are going against somebody who is very aggressive is a flat rope and then a drag or a slant on that same side of the field. You're going to see it in this gameplay. This guy was aggressive. 3-4, uh, big dime, one four six. He always sent at least five people on every defensive possession. So like I said, this is the best way to beat aggressive people or someone who is sending heavy blitzes. So if you want this offensive breakdown, I just updated it not even 10 minutes ago. So you can go in the link in the description and you can either email me, join the Patreon, or you can get the offensive breakdowns. I update my ebooks on a regular basis. You can see right here when I didn't block enough people, I ended up getting set. After I seen that, I hurried it up. I'm going to take my four to five yard dump off and then I'm going to set up for the bigger plays down the field after that. Now, when they are aggressive, they always leave one or two people open. So that's the reason why the best route combo for heavy blitzing is a flat route with either a corner rope coming behind it, a slant coming behind it, or a drag on the opposite side of the field. No matter what playbook you use, have a flat rope with a corner rope behind it, or a slant with a drag on opposite side of the field. That will help you out tremendously. Drop a like on the video. This is the best way to beat blitzes in Madden 20 or the best way to beat opponents that are aggressive in Madden 20. Now, if you play somebody a little smart like me or if you have my defensive ebook, it will give you breakdowns on how to be aggressive but then disguise them aggressive type looks when people are very, very one dimensional. Now, if you need run defense, I have tips on that. If you need blitzes, I have tips on that. And then if you need coverage, help on how to bluff blitzes, give them that same type of look, but back off in coverage, and then they will block more people than they need to, put two or three routes out on the field, and then you have a better chance at coverage sex or more and more lurks in Madden 20. I have all them type of tips for you. All the links in the description will give you everything that you need to be able to elevate your game. Whether you play against a pro who is going to run the big dime, bring everybody in, compress in the box, or he's going to run 3-4 and he's just going to blitz you, blitz you, blitz you. As you can see, I am dominating the blitz. He's mixing it up from the cover 4, drop show 2, the cover 6s, the cover 9s, kind of like what I like to run, but he don't have a disguise type of setup. I do. So, we are up 16 to 7. I got a safety on my opponent. He scored one time so far. We are in the fourth quarter. He just ran, 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 and then he probably had four or five passes. But other than that, he ran the ball. I can make adjustments. I was able to shut it down, but I am able to dink and dunk down the field and draw up a lot of dots. Now, you can see I have run plays where you are able to do the motion, get up through the middle, behind the tackles and the guards, and still be successful. Let's go.